Well, every time the NMSU Aggies have to travel to the Grand Canyon State, it's always best to bring the headphones. Conference showdown against WAC rival Grand Canyon University. NMSU trying to keep pace with Seattle for first place in the WAC standings. Seattle won their game earlier today, so the pressure was on NMSU to take care of business against the Antelopes. But this is always one of the toughest places to play. Always a packed house at GCU especially when the Aggies are in town. In the first half, Antelope's gonna come out swinging. Holland Woods with the turnaround jumper for two. That's nice and all, but Johnny McCants has one better. How about the trifecta? Silencio quiets the crowd. NMSU would go up 42 to 28 at halftime. In the second, Aggies in front here. Nice behind the back pass from Teddy Allen to Uot Alock with the two-hand flush. NMSU up 14, but Antelope's trying to get back into it. Javon Blackster Jr. Drain, drains the three. Grand Canyon will cut NMSU's lead to 10, but Jabari Rice says not so fast. Put a pin in it with that three. And then later, Teddy Allen, you knew it was coming. They call him Teddy Buckets, and now you know why. 30 points on the night for the Phoenix native. A welcome homecoming for Mr. Allen. Nothing like winning a rivalry game on your rival's own home court as NMSU celebrates good section of Aggie fans who also made the trip to Arizona today. Aggies win 82 to 66. The final NMSU has now won two in a row. More importantly, they remain tied with Seattle for first place in the WAC. And guess who NMSU plays next? Seattle. Monday at Seattle, 8 p.m. tip-off time for that one. ABC 7's Nate Ryan was courtside for today's clash between the Aggies and Lopes, and he caught up with the victorious Aggies after the game, and he filed this report from Phoenix. You could tell Grand Canyon wanted it bad. I'll talk now while the music's low, but one of the reasons we make this trip every year, New Mexico State is Grand Canyon, not just for the action on the court, but for the action off of it. The GCU Havocs, baby. When the smoke cleared and the game began, it was all Aggies. Initial reaction would be is probably our most complete game. Um, we've been waiting for this for a while. You know, I've talked about our ceiling and not there yet and not playing at the level that I think we can. And uh, I thought we were closer to that tonight. NMSU led for 39 of the game's 40 minutes in a statement on the road. Coach Jarrett just told us, man, you, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to smile. You got to bring the, the, the fun back into the game. And so I, I took that type of approach tonight, and I, I just played with a whole bunch of fun, a whole bunch of emotions like people are used to, you know what I mean? Phoenix native Teddy Allen was back home, and a 30-point outing provided the cooking. I said, never got to come out here to Phoenix, and uh, just being able to play here, it's big time. Just, you know, it feel like just when I was in the gym shooting last night, I was just like, I feel good to be here for real. You know, you, you got to... Uh, do something in the locker room or do something in your room to make it feel like you're in Mesa because you got to do that all the time. You know, we got to figure out a way to, you know, put that in a jar and bottle it and, and keep doing it because uh, he definitely had a little more juice tonight. That crowd noise flushed with ease. This environment is different. This team loved them. We thrive in it, actually. Like I said, they want to party. We like to party too. That's what the Aggies do. And we can't even got it done today. I'll say that atmosphere was unforgettable. But at the end of the night, the Havocs from Grand Canyon, as you see, all heading towards the exits and all the noise coming from the side of the New Mexico State Aggies, 82-66, the final score from here in Phoenix. Nate Ryan, ABC7. Back over to you, my man. And I know for a fact Nate Ryan really loves to party, so he was right at home in that.